WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. Hospitals across the state are struggling financially. The Indiana Hospital Association says Medicaid and Medicare reimbursement rates are to blame. IHA says more than 2 million Hoosiers are on Medicare or Medicaid plans. Medicare pays back 80 cents for every dollar. Medicaid pays only 57 cents per dollar. That's a nearly 50% loss, and that's money hospitals say they can't afford to keep losing with inflation. The sad thing is, you know, hospitals open 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, and we're expected to have the best doctors, the best nurses, the best equipment. And how can, can you do that with decreased reimbursement? When you look in, since the pandemic, we've got salaries for some positions that have raised 30%, supply costs up 20%, inflation is up. Yet our reimbursement is not, again, Medicaid reimbursement, not increased, increased for 30 years. What other businesses can survive in that kind of atmosphere? The Indiana Hospital Association and other hospital CEOs are asking state lawmakers to increase the Medicaid payout this upcoming legislative session. It's a one of a kind home for sale in eastern Hancock County, and it's got quite a history. The former Wilkinson High School gym is now a house. It was originally built in the 1950s. Since then, it's been revamped into a more than 5,300 square foot home. That includes four beds and three baths. It still has the home's original basketball court with the rafters and bleachers. Home's current owners, Kyle and Lauren Petrie, recently put it up for sale. And they hope the new owner will continue the gym's legacy. It's just, it's a neat experience. It's one of my favorite things about it. Um, you know, and I hope that whoever buys it is able to continue that and, you know, maybe even finish our goal of using it for uh, some sort of events within the community to bring people back into it. The house is listed on Zillow for just under $600,000, which is nearly double what it was in 2022. If you are interested in taking a tour of the gym, you can find a link in this story on our website, WRTV.com.